I'm Chirag and welcome to this video tutorial. So guys in this video we will go through how to share a file that is located in our S3 bucket temporarily with anyone without making the bucket public or without giving the full access of the bucket to that particular user. So uh, let's consider an example. Let's say you are working on something and you want to share a file that is in the S3 bucket temporarily with someone or so to say a client but at the same time you also don't want to provide access to the bucket right that means the full bucket and also you don't want to make the s3 bucket public right so how can we achieve this so to achieve this we can use pre-signed urls now what exactly is pre-signed url so basically a pre-signed url is an url that allows the user to provide or grant temporary access to the file or the object in the s3 bucket to the third party user and assuming that the user who is generating the pre-signed url for a specific object has the necessary permission to access that object okay so now uh, since we know about pre-signed urls now the question is that how we can generate the pre-signed url right so now uh, there are multiple ways to generate pre-signed url either you can use aws command line locally by configuring the security credentials right or you can also use aws sdk so when I say security credentials, it's your access key and the secret key that you need to configure. But here we are going to use AWS Cloud Shell, which basically comes pre-authenticated with your uh, console credential. So you don't have to explicitly configure security credentials, right? As we used to do in while configuring AWS CLI for our local uh, machine or the local terminal, correct? And on top of that, common development and operations tools are pre-installed, so no local installation or configuration is required. In fact, AWS CLI also comes pre-installed within that, right? So we don't need to install it explicitly in the AWS Cloud Shell. So for that, all we need to do is launch AWS Cloud Shell and use AWS CLI to generate the pre-signed URL uh, for a saved object. So let's get started. So let me quickly open uh, S3 Management Console from the now here we are within S3 management console here I have this bucket that is share file hyphen private and if you look at the access then it says bucket and objects are not public that means that this S3 bucket is not public and I'm going to open this bucket and within this bucket I have this directory that is R basically for architecture and here within that directory I have this file that is sample underscore arc dot png right. Now let's say I want to share this file with the particular user and here I don't want to uh, provide a full access to the S3 bucket to that user or even I don't want to make this uh, share file hyphen private S3 bucket public right. So as I mentioned the solution is to use the pre-signed URL. So what we are going to do is we are going to select this right. We are going to click on this checkbox and here we are going to say copy S3 URI okay. Now once you have copied that let's go back to our AWS management console and on the top right corner you would be able to see this icon right uh, that is basically cloud shell so click on that and once you click on that aws cloud shell uh, it will pop up the welcome screen right so we will say close this and then it's going to create the environment for us right so it will take some time to set this up so let's wait now it is preparing our terminal and here we are right and here we have AWS CLI pre-installed. If I say AWS, then uh, it's going to execute that command and pop up something like this. Okay. Now to generate pre-signed URL for that particular object, the command is AWS followed by the service name. So in this case, the file is an S3 bucket, right? And basically we are dealing with the S3 service. So it's going to be S3 followed by pre-sign because we want to perform the pre-sign operation and now uh, paste that s3 uri that we have copied from here right so check this file say copy s3 uri and paste it over here so here it says s3 colon bucket name followed by the directory and the file name okay followed by here we will provide the time right so we want to make sure that this link basically expires after a particular set of time okay so we will say expires in let's say 3600 right so this is basically in seconds that means this link or this pre-signed url will be valid for one hour okay and say enter now as you can see uh, the pre-signed url is generated now we can copy this 
okay and send it to the client or the third party with uh, whoever we want to share this file okay so now i'm going to copy this and we will open the private mode right so i will say here it is and i'm going to paste that pre-signed url in the browser and i will say enter okay now as you can see this is the file that i wanted to share if you look at the url as well then it says uh, the bucket name followed by some dot amazon aws dot com followed by the directory in which the file is followed by the file name that i wanted to share okay now this link is valid for 60 minutes right so we can reuse this link or the client can reuse this link uh, for whatever purpose so basically this is how you can share your object that is in your s3 bucket temporarily with anyone without making the bucket public or without giving full access of your bucket to that particular user right so guys uh, that's all i wanted to cover in this video and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time